In this lesson, we'll continue our review of heart of algebra concepts. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section four, calculator permitted, question eight. What is the slope of the line of the xy plane that passes through the points negative five halves one and negative one half four? So just to review, slope is the change in the y over the change in the x. And it doesn't matter um, which way you go, you just have to be consistent. So I'm gonna start on this side and this change in y, so that's gonna be four minus one. Change in the x, that's gonna be negative one half minus negative five half. So that really is gonna turn into a plus, minus a minus, so that's gonna be plus. And then now that turns into three over four halves, and four halves is two, and so the answer here is simply 3 halves d. Just a couple other points about slope. If you have perpendicular lines, we're told that they're perpendicular, the rule is the slopes have the negative reciprocal. That's for perpendicular lines. And one more point. We've talked about linear equations. So for example, y equals mx plus b. We've talked about how these are applied to real life scenarios where the slope is the variable rate and the b, the y-intercept, is the, is the fixed amount. But sometimes you might have an equation of a line, again, it might be set to a real life scenario where there's no initial rate. And that would just be in the form of y equals mx. And so you have to think about this line, because there is no y-intercept, this will pass through the origin. So just keep that in mind. And sometimes, you also might be given a line that is totally flat or is totally vertical. So let's just go over a couple of points with this concept. If we had a line, let's say it's just y equals two, all right? So y equals two, that means you have a horizontal line, totally flat line at two. And the points along this line, so let's say here and here and here, it's gonna be some x, but we know it's two. All of these will be some x and two. And then so if we take the slope of this line, remember it's the change in y over the change in x. So the y, the change is always gonna be two minus two, it's gonna be zero over some x. So for a flat horizontal line, the slope is zero. It has no slope. However, if we have a problem, I'm just gonna scroll down to have a little bit more room here before we do number 11. If we have an equation, let's say it's y, excuse me, x equals negative two. So let's say we have an equation x equals negative two. So we have now a vertical line at negative two. And so all these points are gonna be negative two and some y negative two and some y. So let's think about the slope here. It's gonna be the change in y, it's gonna be some y, but on the bottom, we're gonna have negative two minus negative two, which is plus, we're gonna have zero. If there's zero in the denominator, this means the slope is undefined. And another point to keep in mind, when we get into the advanced math, you might see a function question. Let's say you have a problem and they give you a function, and then we have, let's say, a quadratic. And the question might be, this is a function for what value of x is this function undefined? That means that the denominator has to be zero, just like we did here. And so what you really have to realize here is we find the solutions here where x equals zero, and that would make the function undefined. So just keep that in mind with slope. All right, let's move on to question number 11. A coffee shop is running a promotion where the number of free coffee samples are given away each day. The equation above can be used to model the number of free coffee samples y that remain to be given away x days after the promotion began. What does it mean that 11 zero is a solution to this equation? So again, we have a linear equation set to a real life scenario. Let's put this into slope intercept form. So we have y equals negative 110x plus 1210. And whenever they're set to a real life scenario, let's get in the habit of labeling what each variable designates. So we're told that 
the number of free coffee samples, that's y, so we'll say free samples that remain, and the x is how many days after the promotion began, so days after. All right, so let's think about this. 11, 0 is a solution. So if we put 11 in for here, 11 times negative 1, 10, you could use your calculator, but that is 1,210. And so y then at that point would be 0. And they're telling us that 11, 0 is a solution. We can prove that. So again, we're applying this to a real life scenario. So 11 days after the promotion began, what do we know? Well, there are zero free samples remaining. And so again, it's just applying this to a real life scenario. If you look at the choices, the answer is C. It takes 11 days during the promotion until none of the samples are remaining. It's Y equals zero. And that is the last algebra question. Just checking.